Hey everyone, it's me Joji, and today I have for you a Fusion Strike Elite Trainer Box. Now, I am excited because this gives me more chance to finally pull some new cards. I have not had any luck at all in my openings getting Mews. I got one single Mew. It was a Mew V from a pre-release box that was honestly really busted. Three hits from a Pukumuku pack. Really crazy. Um, I was not expecting to get so many hits from there. If you want to check out that video, probably in the eye. But today, yes, we are opening up this Elite Trainer Box. Let's hope we get some better pulls. It's like the Muse. We need those Muse to build our Mew VMAX deck. Let's get over to it. So here it is. Um, the Elite Trainer Box. I always have trouble with shrink wrap. I cannot open it. If my... Okay, there we go. If my life depended on it, it would take a while. Uh, <laughs> but nice cover. We get obviously some info in there. Now I'm going to open this up and hopefully... Where's the opening? Hopefully it's a cool design. Uh, usually is, uh, but there are have been sets where you get different Pokemon and it's the same design on the inside. I kind of got confused because Mew is upside down, but it's a nice kind of like, I don't know, poster if you want to put this up. I don't really have a place for them right now. I used to have them as my backdrop. Uh, I could maybe do that, put it in the background, but eh, I kind of just collect these on the side now. All right, so we have that. We have the booklet with all the cards. Really hoping, again, to get the Mew in any form, because it technically has a secret rare form, a full art form for both the Mew V and V Max, and obviously the regular ultra rare versions. We get some instructions on the card game for those that play. We get so actually some nice, cool texture. Wow, look at that actually would make a really cool background. Um, not so cool on the other side. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, there are multiple chances for Mew. Hoping to get it. We have eight packs, eight chances for Mew. Some nice Mew sleeves. <laughs> uh, what else do we have? We have, ooh, the dice. Always one of my favorite parts about these ETVs. The dice. This one has the set logo right there pretty cool it is obviously a mute tail right there and of course we get the burn and poison counter a bunch of uh, energy plus a code for you guys and what else we have we have dividers with mew on there and then bigger mew on the other side all right so let's get rid of this stuff real quick and we'll open the packs you know, so I didn't organize these at all. This is how I pulled them out of the ETV. And man, they gave me two art sets in the same order. That's kind of cool. Um, I don't know if anyone else is packaged this way or if they're all packaged this way, but cool little detail. I'm glad to have gotten full sets like that, but we got to open some packs before we can start collecting pack arts because we want that Mew V. Here's a code. Hopefully you get a Mew V from that code. We've got darkness energy. That's not good. <laughs> I think the Mew is actually weak to dark in, uh, in the TCG game. At least this Mew V. But this is also weak to it. The Espeon VMAX alternate art. I... 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 I didn't know this was in the set. I thought the Espeon was in the previous Evolving Sky set. Am I remembering this wrong? Or did they put this alternate art in this set? I don't know. But what an amazing hit for the first pack. Okay, let's get a sleeve real quick and move on to the next one. Damn, <laughs> I was not expecting this much heat at the beginning of the video. Seriously, Espeon VMAX right off the bat. I'm hoping the next packs live up to that first one. But I don't want to have lost all my luck. 
I still need those Mews. Even though we got the SP on VMAX, I would prefer a couple Mew cards today. We want to build out that deck. If not, we'll use proxies when we do set up that deck to show off to you guys. All right. We got Decladdy, Corviknight. That's no hit today for that pack. Moving on to the Genesect one, another card that we actually need. And I believe we haven't pulled any of those either. We pulled a couple of Fusion Art cards, not all the ones we need though. I believe we still need uh, Latias. That's one of them that we need. We need the Genesects, the Mews, the Mew V Max. Actually, we have one Mew, but prefer to have four and three of the Mew V Max. That's that's pretty much what most people build nowadays when it comes to these kind of decks, a three and four line. There's a Levani though, one of my favorite Pokemon and I actually use this in my early days in the Pokemon games. So at the end of that first pack art set with the Bolton pack, not my favorite Pokemon from Sword and Shield really. It looks kind of ugly, it goes from a cute little Yamper to an ugly Bolton. Don't know what happened, but the glow up was not real for that Pokemon. Let's see here, Shelmet, Puzzle, Muna. Okay, Meowth, regular Meowth. I thought maybe there was a Galarian one in the set too. But there is an Oracorio, actually, a card we need. Even though it's a non-holo, this thing is really good for Fusion Strike decks. It lets you take less damage with its ability and Glistening Droplets actually puts five damage counters and you can use the attack with a Mew VMAX card's effect. So even though that wasn't a hollow rare or anything better, still a card that I really wanted and needed. All right, opening up another pack, another code for you guys. One, two, three to the front for Fire Energy. Okay, maybe another Horror Choreo. What was that? after shadowing for the Oracorio we just got. I don't know, but here's a Yivatol reverse and actually a hollow that I don't actually have yet. A Starmie hollow. Not bad at all. Okay, three left to go. Not looking too good for the Muse, but I am still hopeful. <laughs> I am hopeful that we will get it here at least one, please. Arceus, if you're looking down on us, please give us that Pokemon luck. Give us that lucky egg. We got Choodle, and it's a hit, but it's an ugly dog. I'm just going to leave it at that. Bolton V, ugly dog. I do not like ugly dogs, but it does have Smash Turn and an Electro Bullet for its attacks. And I'm sorry to say, after looking at the two attacks, Smash Turn and Electro Bullet don't really have the best effects on their attacks and damage wise, pretty meh. The other first ever Bolton V card is way better than that one. Well, let's move on. <laughs> Forget that Bolton V. Not the best. I think so far we have three hits. No V, no Mu V yet. Come on. We gotta hope for that one. We got Shauna. We got Mankey, Clauncher, Growlithe, Stuffle, Digilith. I always forget how to say that Pokemon's name. Hooked on Phonics, help me. It is a full art Shauna. Are you kidding me? Okay, maybe we won't get the Mew V or V Max or the Genesect or the Oricorios I need or literally anything that I would love to get doubles of, but. I'll take a Shauna Full Art any day. All right, look at that amazing Full Art Trainer card. Anyways, we're still looking for that Mew V. Give me that Mew V. Last pack luck. Come on. What do we have? Water Energy. Ooh, I'd rather not cool down. I'd love to get some more awesome packs here. Rotom Nine Tails. That's pretty hot. And that just cooled us down. Well, I'm sorry to say that we did only get three cards. We got the Espeon V Max alternate art, I believe, in our first pack. Crazy hit. It's an amazing card. I'm pretty sure it's pretty hard to get. 
Uh, <laughs> as are most of these Ultra Bears, but for whatever reason, the Mew Vs are super hard for me to get. The V Maxes especially. Then we got the Bolton V. Not the best card competitively. Really, there's better Bolton V cards out there. And then we got the Full Art Shauna. Not a bad looking Pokemon card there. A great, actually, honestly, it, I love that when they actually have like the full character in there and they're not just kind of cut off. But yeah, three hits. Well, four hits. Not, I don't have the Starmie on me. It's probably somewhere off to the side, but four hits. That's half hits, actually. Not bad. And we did get that or choreo earlier. So I'm OK with that as well. So that's going to be it. We did get half of the packs as hits and some of them were really good. Some really awesome looking cards. So let me know. Have you guys been able to find Fusion Strikes in stores or is there still a bit of a shortage in your locations? But I've been able to get most of my stuff ordered in. I am waiting on some sleeve packs and I believe the gold Pikachu and Zekrom box. So I'm excited to get those and show them off on the channel. Hopefully you catch those when they do come out and hopefully you get subscribed so you don't miss it when we open those up. Anyways, guys, as always, stay safe and thanks for watching.